Hi everyone, welcome to my mathematical channel. This is Online Math TV and my name is Jix Animo. Yeah, we'll have fun learning mathematics all the time. All right, here we have a question on the board before us. Now, the question looks so simple. Now, the question says, show that m to the power of 2 all over 3 equal to the cube root of m square. Now, you may ask yourself, say, why would Jake bring this kind of challenge? You know, the examiner can be crazy most times. And so, expect any question from the examiner, okay? So, when you have questions like this, how do you tackle this question? Very easy. Let's take our solution. Solution. All right. So, let's go ahead and put down the question. The question is m to the power of 2 all over 3 equal to the cube root of your m to the power of 2. <laughs> Very easy. Now, for us to prove that this is equal to this, at this point, we're going to bring in another alphabet to represent our uh, m to the power of 2 all over 3. So let's bring out, uh, let's use p. So from here, we say let, let uh, p equal to um, your m to the power of 2 all over 3. Okay. With this expression here now, let's look at this. Let's give this equation 1. This is equation 1. And let's give this equation 2. If we look at equation 2, if I decide to cube this side of this equation, and at the same time, I will also cube this side of the equation because whatever you do to the left-hand side, you must do to the right-hand side. And so, if I have here to be p to the power of 3, this will equally give me m to the power of 2 all over 3, r to the power of what? 3. Okay. With this, there is a law in indices which says that if you have your a to the power of m, bracket, bracket, n, this is equal to your a to the power of m, n. Provided your m and a are positive whole number. If m and a are not positive whole number, this will not work. So the only condition for this to work out is that m and n must be positive room number. So apply this, what will happen to this? So we multiply the exponent, and so here we'll be left with p to the power of 3 equal to your m, okay, to the power of 2. Very easy. Because this 3, we cancel out this 3. I'm looking for p here. What do I do to get my p from here? I will take the cube root of both sides. And so this will now give me p to the power of 3 or cube root equal to the cube root of what? m to the power of 2. What happened here, this cube root, we take care of this cube here. From here, let's proceed and see what this gives us in 10. Let's erase this. Good. Here now, we're left with P. So we now have this to be P equal to, here we have the cube root of M to the power of 2. Good. Now, let's look at this. Go back to where we said let p is equal to m to the power of what, 3. What is our p here now? Look at p is equal to this. So let's replace our p with m to the power of 2 all over 3. So if we put that here, so this now implies, this now implies that your um, m to the power of 2 all over 3 is equal to the cube root of your m to the power of 2. What are we asked to prove? Look at what we asked to prove. And that is what we have here now. So, therefore, in all, we now have m to the power of 2 all over 3 is equal to the cube root of your m to the power of 2. Simple as A, B, C. So, this, this. Proved. Proved. Very easy. Okay. So, just for the fun of it. Again, this is All I Must TV where we have fun solving mathematics all the time. My name is Jake's Animal. Thanks for always be there. Everyone at All I Must TV love you so much. Do you know why? Because you are the reason for the existence of this channel. Okay? You'll be there in the time past and you've always be there for us. And I know and we know that in time to call, you will still be there for us. Hence, we love you so much. We cherish you so much. Thanks for always be there. Bye for now.